Good morning, everyone, on this early Tuesday morning. Hopefully, you're off to a good start. Boy, it is foggy out there, thick as pea soup, and we do have more showers starting to move back in from the west and southwest, so kind of a paper boy's nightmare out there, and we'll go ahead and get into the graphics and kind of let you know exactly what you can expect as we head through your Tuesday. There you see the morning rain that's going to be pushing on through. There's that uh, uh, icy uh, type weather with the freezing rain just outside of Nashville, all the way through Memphis and I tell you what, as the day goes on, temperatures are going to stay cool here as we'll be 50-ish, but notice the rain starting to taper off, becoming a little bit more scattered after lunchtime, and then that will head off to the east. So this evening, not as wet, but unfortunately, as we head through early tonight, another area of rain will pour in from the south and west. And notice uh, some of the northwestern plateaus, some of that colder air trying to get in from Crossville, Fall Creek Falls, maybe a northwestern Grundy, Sequatchie counties. In fact, a winter weather advisory in effect uh, for Grundy County as we head through the nighttime hours into early uh, tomorrow morning as that uh, uh, temperature threshold could be close to 32 up there and that's why some of that moisture may be uh, freezing on contact so that's uh, an area that we'll be uh, watching pretty closely from Crossville back into just outside of Tracy City uh, most of us, though, here, all liquid. Lows tonight, closer to 40, maybe some upper 30s, but it'll be all wetness here. Lots of fog will continue, and there you see perhaps uh, some icing along the plateau, especially in the northwestern corner of the plateau as we head into uh, later tonight, into early tomorrow morning. So that's the bigger story close by, but uh, around Memphis and just outside of Nashville, uh, they're seeing conditions much worse. And there you see the first wave of the uh, showers that will continue to press on to the uh, east. And there's a second wave. And yet there's going to be a third wave as we head into Thursday. And Thursday is going to be very wet starting Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. Still around Memphis, back into uh, parts of Arkansas and Texas getting hammered. And then as we head into late Thursday evening and Thursday night, the showers finally start to slip on to the south. And uh, hopefully we can get a break in all this mess. Before all is said and done, some areas will see two, three, maybe up to four inches of rain. And I think we'll have to uh, deal with that over the uh, uh, next two or three days. And then finally, after uh, Thursday, we'll start to see some drying. And Friday will be a much improved day. There you see it on the graphics there. Temperatures will drop below freezing, but that's a fair trade-off compared to what we're dealing with right now. The weekend looking pretty good, even through Monday. And right now, into uh, the beginning of next week, we're going to be in good shape before our next frontal system moves on in by about Wednesday of next week. So hopefully we'll have a good four or five days to dry out. But I tell you what, the next three are going to be quite wet. And you folks into the northwestern plateau from Crossville on over through uh, parts of Grundy and Sequatchie counties. Don't be surprised if you have some icing issues tonight, but the majority of us, it will be all liquid and very foggy out there to boot. So be sure and take care if you're going to be out on the roads. Be safe. Have a great rest of your uh, Tuesday, and uh, we'll talk to you later.